Greg's leftovers. Mm. It's leftovers. Where I read the jokes we didn't use this week, and as always, it's my first time reading these. So if they suck, we'll break Joe Mackey's arms, then his legs, and force him to play Twister. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat> Brazil has reportedly seen the advent of nudist barber shops where no one wears any clothes. Meanwhile, uncircumcised customers have been asking for just a little off the top. <laughs> <laughs> pair of tickets from the performance that President Abraham Lincoln was watching when he was assassinated have now been sold for $262,000. Hmm. Anyone willing to pay that much must have a hole in their head. <laughs> too too yeah. soon. Uh -huh. It's like 150 years ago, people. <laughs> Anyway, a man was gored to death during a running of the bulls in Spain. The funeral will be a closed casket from the waist down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tom! <laughs> Tyrus would have laughed. <laughs> That's a great joke. A white Zimbabwean... I think I said that right, was crowned as the nation's Miss Universe representative, sparking outrage in a country that's 99% black. But citizens of all colors came together once they realized at least she doesn't have a penis. <laughs> mm -hmm. The low bar these days. A new AI tool, that's uh, short for artificial intelligence, Pete. Thank you. <laughs> a new AI tool has been able to generate what Marilyn Monroe would have looked like today. In fact, here's the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> the National Cathedral has replaced stained glass featuring Confederate generals with protesters that allegedly support the theme of racial justice. It'll help the cathedral save on fire insurance. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good joke. <laughs> Makes you think. But I would prefer you laugh. <laughs> Thinking is overrated. Kamala Harris is incompetent, unqualified, and the worst vice president in 40 years, according to voters in a Daily Mail poll and everyone else on the planet. <laughs> oh, they like that one. <laughs> After years of anticipation, NASA has returned asteroid samples to Earth in a historic first. Not to ruin the surprise, fellas, it's a rock. <laughs> it's always a rock. During the GOP debate, Chris Christie said he knows Trump is watching because he cannot control himself. <laughs> yeah, this from a guy who knows a lot about self-control, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'd say look in the mirror, but, you know, you need more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Ojai, California, that's a place, has become the first U.S. city to recognize the legal rights of elephants. That's, of course, if you don't count New York already allowing The View to tape here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible people you are. Dejia De Blackwell, a social media influencer who uses the name Meatball, was charged with eight felonies after encouraging widespread thefts in Philadelphia. Her mugshot showed tears running down her cheeks, though police say that might have been marinara sauce. <laughs> Last week, the Canadian Parliament gave a standing O to a Ukrainian man who turned out to be a former Nazi. House Speaker Anthony Rhoda apologized for his lack of due diligence and hoped they wouldn't hold it against his next guest, Mr. Badolf Bittler. <laughs> While speaking on inflation during the debate, Ron DeSantis spoke of a woman who had to take food out of her basket at the checkout. To which Chris Christie replied, food? Did someone say food? <laughs> The Wuhan Institute of Virology warns another coronavirus outbreak is highly likely. They predict the new strain will begin circulating as soon as Dr. Fauci invents it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
A British Airways pilot was fired after bragging about a pre-flight cocaine party. <laughs> I mean, who does he think he is, a Biden? <laughs> Earlier this week in Michigan, President Biden joined striking auto workers on the picket line. Evidently, they're the same workers who are credited with assembling Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? A flock of sheep in Greece wandered into a greenhouse and ate 600 pounds of marijuana plants. Then they wandered into a 7-Eleven and ate 900 pounds of Doritos. <laughs> the NYPD is deploying a new security robot to patrol the Times Square subway station. And so far, it's working perfectly. It successfully transmitted 12 photos of the thieves who stole it and sold it for parts. <laughs> and finally, during an impeachment hearing Thursday, Democrats asked Marjorie Taylor Greene not to show pornography again, as she did in previous testimony about Hunter's criminal behavior. Disappointing former CNN legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin, who was watching at home. <laughs>